Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you password protect an Excel file, you prevent people from opening or modifying the file without knowing the password required to accomplish the specified operation. Once password protection is enabled on a file, no one can open or modify the file without supplying the appropriate passwords for either task. Password protecting files poses a risk because if you forget the password to either open or modify the files, you will not be able to open or modify the files in the future. To apply password protection to an Excel file, open the file to which you want to apply password protection. Then, if using Excel 2007, click the Microsoft Office button and then click the Save As command in the drop-down menu that appears. If using Excel 2010, click the File tab in the ribbon and then click the Save As command. In either version, this will open the Save As dialog box. Select the Tools button in the lower right corner of the Save As dialog box and then select the General Options command from the pop-up menu that appears to view the General Options dialog box. Here you can set the password protection on the file before saving it. In the File Sharing section of the General Options dialog box, enter any passwords that you want to apply to this file. You can set passwords to both open and or modify the file. You can then click OK to set the passwords. You will need to reconfirm these passwords by retyping them in the confirmation dialog box that appears and then click OK to return to the Save As dialog box where you will proceed to save the file as normal. Now, in the future, if a user tries to open the file, they will need to enter the password to open the file specified. Now, once opened and viewable, if you try to make changes, you will be prompted to enter the password to modify the file specified. Or, you can click Read Only to open a Read Only copy. Now, to remove the password protection, you will need to know the passwords for both opening and modifying the file, if any. Then, open the file, and once again you'll need to supply the password to do this, and then open the Save As dialog box again, depending on which version you're using. Now, in the Save As dialog box, click the Tools button, and then choose the General Options command again, in order to open the General Options dialog box. This time, Delete both passwords from the File Sharing section of the General Options dialog box. Then click OK. You will then need to resave the file as usual to remove password protection. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.